What kind of guidance would you offer to a, a, a smaller business or a startup business that wants to get into AI, maybe in a regulated sector, knowing that all of this governance is coming down the pike? What, what would you tell them? What would be the three things you would tell them first? Boy, um, well, I, I mean, first and foremost, like, you know, something that uh, I know it's weird to say, like, you know, from NVIDIA perspective, but like, I find the technology is always going to be less important than the problem that you're solving, right? And I tell this to every startup, and, and especially in a time where, you know, we have such this intense focus on like, engineering, developer -y sort of like, uniqueness, where it's like, ah, oh, we have an AI engineer. Well, yeah, but are you solving a problem that matters to people? And I think a lot of times startups get caught up uh, and you know every business, but it starts in particular caught up in this idea of like, oh, this is such an amazing thing that I'm building. That they often lose sight of, yeah, but does it really solve this problem in a way that is incredibly efficient uh, and is going to to entice everybody to want to sort of buy from us? Uh, so first and foremost, worry above everything else about whether or not you're solving a problem that, that's critical and relevant. Uh, on the more sort of functionalist side. Uh, understanding like data sources and, and where you're getting that from, uh, you know, if if you are engaging in, in you know healthcare and, and fintech and other like highly regulated industries, you have to understand where that data is coming from. And you know, thinking about the tooling for guard railing and being able to to guide sort of the development of uh, whatever models that it is that you're using and then guide the outputs also critical. Um, you know, those are the, the the top two. And lastly. I'd probably say that the um, the way that you so kind of go about talking about your product, right? This this focus that a lot of people have on like you know I can't remember who I was talking to earlier about this, but this focus that people have on like oh we're an AI tool. I think from a messaging perspective, coming back to how it is that you're uh, or the the primary problem that you're sort of addressing for larger organizations that you may be selling to, like using that as your messaging as opposed to, oh, we're an AI company doing X, Y, Z. The amount of noise out there, being able to differentiate yourself. And I, the, to a degree, I think this applies to large businesses as well, where you, like, you'll see these, these sort of advertising marketing copy being like, you know, your AI solution for whatever. It's like, well, yeah, but would, that's not, I don't care that it's an AI solution. I care that it's a solution. Uh, and to a degree, I think that that might diminish people's concern about like, oh, should I like try this new tool? If you're, if you're changing the focus from how the tool works to what the tool accomplishes, uh, I think that breaks down a lot of walls, right? And so like those are, that's, that's always how I like to think about things and, and what I would communicate to startups. I, I want to add that uh, to uh, people, to those organizations that are trying to break into this space, uh, from regulatory and, uh, or compliance of governance perspective, I would suggest that you stand at 40,000 feet and develop a, a governance complex enough to take care of the current regulations, but also adopt an opportunistic posture. So this, this framework should also be nimble and robust enough to look into the future and anticipate future regulations and, and, and be able to adapt to them as they become available. One thing that uh, Harry from the Federal Reserve talked about this morning was the idea that there's no way that we would put our data out in the cloud. We want to bring out, be able to bring that data in. One thing that I, I think is exciting for me when I look at the markets, becoming easier and easier to bring this stuff in. And I'll bet you a lot of folks in, in uh, the room here have experimented with different levels of LLMs and so on. Um, you might be surprised if you actually talked with your technical team about what would it take for me to bring this stuff in. I don't know if I need a free computer uh, from you guys or free chips or so on, um, but the concept of being able to bring this stuff in locally allows you a lot of power to be able to do that experiment. The first thing I thought of, Martin, when you said that was how is Martin gonna let his people experiment with stuff? He'd better be able to bring it inside. Um, that being said, one of the pieces of caution, um, if speaking now as a, as a developer, if you will, 
it's really easy to get a simple answer and it's really easy to get excited about an initial thing. Think of the amazement you had the first time that you used a chat GPT or some other model. You go, wow, right? But what is powerful is the ability to go one or two or three levels deeper. Um, the exciting part for me is that individuals can do this today in your environment. And you know, I'm a, I'm a fan of the IBM stuff, Matt, but a lot of folks are using a variety of different tools, whether it's from Meta or from the open source community, that make it not so tough. The caution, and this is, this is the key for governance, the caution is it's so easy to get some interesting value out of these things that you could very well find yourselves having the push to get it into production before having done the checks. Um, and those checks are on things for compliance and governance that will get you after you put them in. A big shop like you guys, Martin, you're not going to make that mistake, maybe, and put something in and then realize it's a problem. But for many companies, and I can imagine in the investment community, many companies, you might actually get to the point where you put something in, you find that it's working, and you're not in a consumer business. Why do you have to care about you know, human data in your models? It, it should never come, except the large language model has already trained itself on humans that now all of a sudden the EU comes and says, sorry, this entire class of models needs to be pulled back or documented. So even though your business has nothing to do with something you would think of in that kind of human regulatory aspect, you get dragged in because of the choice of using something. 